Hello guys, uh, if this phone will be able to do this, it will be beautiful guys, because I have for you, it took me time to do this research, um, I'm going to talk about No Agenda. No Agenda is a podcast very famous, this is the guy that invented podcast, they call him the uh, podfather, podfather. Um, and I will show you, he was on, a, of course, a total reptilian, but, but we'll go to that later. Because he is now a controlled opposition, uh, of course. Uh, the only thing that I um, need to see now, if, the, if this thing will work properly. So what I'm going to do now, okay, let's start with the, uh, I hope the audio will be good, guys, I don't know. So let's start with, so this guy, uh, nice, uh, um, you know, the, the, the hand there, he, uh, he was, um, you know, um, so, what? Reptilians, guys, they always uh, run things, and um, just like a Joe Rogan guy that from television went to control opposition, this guy is the same thing. From MTV, as you can see here from MTV, he would sell us this uh, beautiful world of uh, horrors and uh, you know to, to destroy us. But now he's far right. He's on your side now, guys. But but yet you know, he you you can see him, of course, just like Joe Rogan you know, interviews him. He's called Adam Curry. Uh, Adam Curry, and uh, this is uh, on uh, Joe Rogan 1533. Uh, they did this, so. Now, both of them are controlled opposition, as we know. <clears throat> but this guy, this guy on the right, uh, Joe Adam Curry, is particularly um, good, guys. I mean, it's good if you are very moral to fall for it. But now, let, let me show you. If you just do some research, guys, it's, it's easy to see that he is a reptilian. It's, it's very easy. Look, another... Control the position, Alex Jones, he is there also. Now we'll hear clips of uh, him talking and everything. So uh, you will not have any doubts, guys, that these people are just making fun of the of the few sheep that still have a brain, you know, that are not like the majority of the sheep, that still have a brain, that do not trust the media. And they gave them this control the position to them, to control them. And... Um, and so he, uh, when he was young, he was married to lots of wives, and one of uh, them was this Patricia Pay. That uh, what a coincidence! I showed her in another video of mine long ago that YouTube took out, of course. And uh, she, uh, in this album, this uh, beautiful woman, you know, uh, he's uh, he's on your side now. For, he's for family, for values, and uh, but yet he. He has lots of wives, and uh, one of her wives in, in Holland, he was uh, Dutch in origin, this Adam Curry guy. Look uh, what uh, one of ex-wives uh, had as a, well, just the position, guys, you don't need to read anything, you know, just horrifying, you know, horror, uh, horrifying the humans, you know. You know, taking out what they already had inside them, the humans, guys, you know, they will just give them a hand, you know, because they are the, the, the elite. And so, who's that lady with my mane? Now is the moment. Now is the moment. So this was, and uh, we can see him with uh, this Patricia Pay, and uh, Patricia Pay also has made an album for gay people, which says the title is "Gay Sera Sera," whatever will be will be. And he, uh, and yet this guy is okay with. Uh, and again, I'm nothing against uh, uh, gay people. You know, they will have to answer to God for, for what they do. But I, I'm not. I will never be violent, or I will just, you know, uh, say, you know, what the Bible says. Which it's not normal. You know, I don't see this thing in nature. Ah, oh, what are you saying? I see horses everywhere, male with male, fucking every day. What are you saying? It's natural. Um. And so here's reptilian with um, with a woman that yeah pushes Playboy and look she's always her with uh, another reptilian here, and, uh, and and here's our hero, this is the hero that I'm talking about. He is just Adam Curry, he is your guy, with Alex Jones with Joe Rogan, and here's her his current wife. Look at this, beautiful. Oh, oh my, yes, 
Let's see some details of this beautiful woman, guys. <gasps> uh, okay. Stop there. Okay, uh, now we will go to to some clips, guys, that I clipped for you. So let's start with Alex Jones. Uh, this this the first one is just a mix 30 seconds. Let's hear. I hope the audio is good guys I have nothing to do like I cannot lower it too much because otherwise I will not listen So let's hear in the heart of the resistance You are listening to the Alex Jones show in the heart of the resistance You are listening to Alex Jones show. Oh, by the way guys just to you know, I'm still here in the mountain You know, you know the crazy guy in the mountain of course so, um, le, now, from the heart of the resistance, Alex Jones, you know, the whore, uh, that, you know, um, Bill Cooper exposed him many times, you know, he, guys, if you listen to Bill Cooper, uh, he exposed this, this, this evil, and I, I don't have the clips now of uh, how, what he said, but, and then this guy, Alex Jones, is pure, pure cancer, guys, like all this controlled opposition. But again, it's a fault of the sheep that ask. There's market for these morons, and so they exist. But nay, we just expose them for what they are, and, uh, and this video will show it to you. So, interesting fellow. I've been watching since I was like 10 years old on MTV. This is an. He is presenting. Uh, let me show you guys. It would be beautiful if I had the possi possibility. To, uh, with VLC to show c uh, clips um, uh, like uh, MP3 with the uh, cover cover art that will be I'll, I'll see if I will be able to do it. but here they are guys you can see them and here's Alex Jones maybe I will leave this as background and uh, let's listen to them Adam Curry uh, is an anti New World Order guy I know he has his own popular radio show well uh, I would he is an anti New World Order guy. Really? We will see now how anti New uh, Well, already just by seeing the pictures, guys, you you could tell that he is uh, elite, guys. But uh, for morons that still do not understand it, maybe there is some moron that listen to this guy like I was doing, guys. I fell for it too. That's why I'm doing this video, guys, because I knew no agenda. I listened a lot of them, uh, but then I realized, you know, they are controlled opposition. Uh, and they are very funny, guys, this podcast. I will talk about that later. So let's hear now from this anti-New World Order guy, you know, uh, that Alex Jones is presented, which is he's talking about this guy here, um, Adam Curry. I would say I have high hopes for our new president. You can buy one right now, and if you use the coupon code ALEX... They are making fun. I just put a compilation here, guys. They were just selling Alex shit there. And just, can you make the advertising for me? Said Alex to him, and he will sell the products for, for him. Just total horse, guys. Demons. Uh, but he, he was saying before that uh, something that I just forgot. It's not easy to go back when I'm on the phone, guys. So let's anti new order guy what he said let, let, let me try to go back guys there's no other way so it doesn't give me the bar there's nothing I can do guys let's 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 continue continue the, the, the shit let me try to remember can't remember so at checkout you get a second one free uh, they gotta wait, pay two two for the price of one there are no more nations there are no more people ladies and gentlemen Alex Beal you're on the air. Thanks for calling. Hi, Alex. Hey, buddy. Hey, man. I'm a huge fan, and I even have your. This is this is a collection of morons calling Alex Jones. Yeah, just to to have an idea of the morons that fall for this shit. Uh, Bohemian Grove video from back in the '80s. I have been following you for years. I want to say say I I appreciate what you do, and I. I mean the. the... Alex Jones is control the position guy. They had to give him, him something, you know, so they invited him the Bohemian Grove, you know, let's do do this video with us, you know, so that you, you, you will use you as a bait, you know, for the sheeple. And the moron called him, you know, oh, I am a huge fan. I have your video in the 80s with the Bohemian Grove. Ah, oh, you are my hero. I ask you guys to keep it up. I think that Donald Trump has been so successful because he is the American 
American dream personified mm -hmm. and is the true champion of the American people. Um, the way he campaigned using his own money allowed him to showcase his success while at the same time emphasizing his self-sacrifice to serve the country he loves. So I'd like to say thank you to President-elect Trump for your sacrifices and your family's sacrifices to go through this trial by fire for the American people. Adam and, and Max, what about the propaganda placement? They call it behavior placement or product placement. The uh, talk about product black placement you, you sell all the time so uh, did you hear the callers guy what kind of morons there is there guys and you know i remember always that alex jones and uh, and this guy also sold you uh, trump I'll never forget that now uh, alex is talking uh, about uh, you know propaganda because they want to make this thing you know they are controlled opposition guys so what they do is they blame always the left, but by doing this you are trapping sheeple in this uh, left and right paradigm, you know? Message, I think the public's rejecting it, but what's your comments on that? Back in the days, we had Archie Bunker, and Archie Bunker became this grou you know, was a grouchy guy who hated the government. And what, who's talking is the guy, you know, this Adam Curry guy. Uh, and uh, he, he is saying, you know, that uh, ah, they are blaming for everything the, the right. You know? Just just this, uh, fooling the sheeple, guys. Just wasting time. And, and the sheeple themselves want to waste time. They want confirmation of some people like them to tell them, ah, okay, let's, let's blame something that uh, it's not dangerous. You know, let's blame the left, so to speak, you know, which never touches the people at the top, you know, of course. Traditionally, those guys were Democrats. But Norman Lear made Archie Bunker a Republican. And for years, that became the face of what Republicans look like on television. I think that's kind of where the switch went from, you know, the Republican Party who I, I, I freed the slaves. You know, they were kind of uh, on the good side of things. And then Archie Bunker became the face of the a-hole uh, Republican. I think that really set a... a and you're right. Set. No, no, the old racist curmudgeons, they're not sure. Democrats. They're Republicans. Yes, and sir. as you said, they convinced everybody of a total upside-down world. Yeah. Austin has some other problems, let people camp it everywhere thing, so that's become a... Wait, now guys, we are going to Joe Rogan, guys, so let's put the right image here. Joe Rogan. So look, he's now, they are, uh, this uh, whole uh, Dutch guy went to Austin, moved. You know, he gets lots of uh, donation from morons uh, that listen to his podcast, guys. But again, that's not where he really gets his money. Yeah, he, he is a billionaire guy. He's a reptilian. Uh, but look now how the two pieces of shit here, both of them, uh, Joe Rogan and uh, this this other reptilian, talk bad about the poor people, guys, that live in, in uh, camp in Austin, camping in outside, because they have nowhere to go, because... You have to be a slave to work like like a slave to suck dicks of uh, of Satan or this pieces of shit to to move all this system, you know. And if people do not want to do that, they are sick of that of that slavery. They at least have this thing in America that they let them uh, sleep at least, you know, let them leave at least, but not anymore because they are trying to kill them now. So listen, what this piece of shit thing, it's a great issue in Austin because we have all these poor people around. And look how these two pieces of shit, uh, they, they want to solve this issue. Look. Real problem. And it is crazy here. It all comes from a, a lawsuit in Boise, Idaho. There was an appeal that said you cannot move people who are camping without having a suitable place for them to stay that you can offer them because then it is a violation of the Eighth Amendment under cruel and unusual punishment. Until that's solved, it's cruel and unusual punishment to move someone who's homeless or not, move someone who's camping. So these people are just camping on sidewalks there, just like they do here? Is that the underpasses? Uh, medians. Like that? You know, oh, the, the underpasses. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Just mayhem. You know, kids are afraid. You know, yeah. like, now they're getting, they're getting harassed. You know, we have squeegee guys. Dude, yeah. I, I... I'm afraid of you, you reptilians, you pieces of shit. Guys, I've done a series in, in my YouTube channel that was removed by YouTube, where where I lived, even slept, because I had to do a documentary about poor people in Rome, guys. There's poor people sleeping just everywhere in Rome, guys, uh, where the poop and all these reptilians live like, live like filthy rich, you know, have, have all the, the wealth and everything, and there's poor people sleeping in uh, paper with uh, cardboards. 
and I and I documented all this. And maybe if uh, if I can, guys, if I have a good connection, sometime I will upload uh, some videos where I. It was cause the series that I did was called Street Mame. Street Mame because we will go in the street of Rome with my friend Amerigo, and we will talk about this shit, guys. And these people see humans as a problem. Look, this piece is demons. I drove into New York every single day from Jersey in, in 89, 90. You know, the squeegee guys were a huge problem, and then they were gone. I think Giuliani like threw them in the East River or something, But and now they're back in New York. It's like, this is not, not a good thing. Yeah, how do you fix that, though? Mm -hmm. the people are worried about the cruelty in fixing it. Oh, there you go. You know, that's the problem. It's like, you... Yeah. It's a... <clears throat> you, you, ha you almost have to be cruel to stop that. For a moment, he just couldn't say the word. I would almost say I want to kill him. He couldn't say, uh, we cannot be so cruel, you know. We are the reptilian. Uh, it was about the CIA, and my uncle appears in this book multiple times. My uncle Don. His uncle in the CIA, guys. Can't you see? The reptilians control everything, guys. From control opposition, from CIA, for everything, guys. The demons. Greg, big, big guy in the CIA for a long time. The national security advisor for Bush Sr. involved in Iran-Contra. So, you know, and although I hold him in the highest regard as a 100% patriot, you know, lots of decisions are made and people screw stuff up. But, but I think he always had the right intent. My family is, you know, intelligence, military. I'm really the black sheep. I've had this Somebody watch. Had He's the black sheep, guys. The reptilian is the black sheep, guys. It's working for you, the sheep, not for them. So let's hear now. He's talking about his beautiful watch, guys. He's saying that I had this watch for 30 years. Let's hear if uh, Joe Rogan uh, sees. As you can see here, it has, has gold, pure gold in our Rolex watch here, guys. So let's hear. Longer than my daughter's been alive, 30 years. It's amazing. I've tried other watches, but I just, it's a, it's a piece of me now. Is it a Rolex? Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. I bought it back in the old MTV music business days. Ooh. And now this is actually very popular amongst rich women. <laughs> <laughs> my former New York banker friend, I go to his dinner party and it's like, oh man, it's like three women here wearing my watch. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> still looks great. I love oh, it. It's such a classic, but it's it, the gold just kind of melts into me now and it's a part of me. But it's beautiful. Thank it's you. a cool thing now. It's got a lot of sentimentality. Right? Yeah, that's a big moment. Was I got a call from Steve? It's not a big deal to have a, a thirty million dollar watch. It's not a big deal. It's a good have to have. It has sentimentality. So now he's talking that he was just got contacted by uh, by Steve Jobs uh, because, of course, reptilian guys invent things. You know, like the reptilian uh, of Facebook uh, invented invented Facebook. Here comes this guy, invented podcast, uh, you know, so what do you want, guys? It's a, it's a cl close clap, guys, guys, and they got to invent things, not you, sheeple. Jobs. <laughs> and then he said, Adam, uh, I'd like to put podcasting in iTunes. Are you okay with that? I'm like, are you kidding me? Yes. My daughter had horses, and I like, I had a castle in the, in Belgium, and we had, had two horses there. You had a castle in Belgium? Yeah. Damn. I, I used to have money that I spent on helicopters and <laughs> castles and all kinds of fun stuff. I, 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 I've enjoyed the money. Yeah, well, that's de good. Definitely. <laughs> uh, so, you know, that system is no longer... A castle, guys. So he had a castle, a horse for her, her beautiful daughter, and uh, Rolls Royce. And you will hear now. Um, so let's. Uh, and here is control. He is uh, on your side. He is far right. He is on your side. And people uh, cannot do not invite him because he is a bad guy, bad boy. This is a bad boy. Let me tell you guys. At the end, you will, you will have the most beautiful clip of them all, guys. Well, you will see how what pieces of shit these people are, guys. But again. I lost hope that people ever, uh, because uh, people want them to, to exist, guys. So there's nothing you can do, but it. just you know, show. I'm just showing this to you. But I don't hope to wake up anyone. You know, people are made like this. They want these lies, you know. So, so now he's. Uh, he, what are you talking about, man? My memory this today is not very good. Ah, he's now he's talking about 
all great people like him or this controlled opposition guys and he will put lots of uh, people that are all controlled opposition are very clear guys if you hear the names he will say now they are all controlled opposition and, and he's saying ah the system is afraid of us now that we are you know uh, changing everything and he's now listing all the people which are controlled opposition guys but he he uh, uh, tells them like they are uh, on your on your side dumb shit longer working because of Michael Malice, because of No Agenda Show, because yes. of Joe Rogan, because of Jordan Peterson, because of Tim Pool, because of Megyn Kelly, you know, and on and on and on, right down to uh, X-22 report, and this, this stuff is valid there too. So we, have, we are now learning how to make up our own minds, and the genie's out of the bottle. There's no turning back, they're not reaching us, people are turning away from uh, cable news, they're turning away from hot... They're turning away from cable news and from uh, mainstream media, they're, and they are coming to the to the mouth of the other, uh, these other traps here, guys, these other whores, which is of the same people. <laughs> Hollywood in general, I mean, this is a huge loss of control that they're really witnessing. Uh, and so, what was the final thing to do? Shut him down, cut it yeah, off, yeah, yeah, do yeah. whatever you can. And even that's failing with Mastodon and. Oh, they are they are they they need to censor them, guys. So the, they put all these morons. In one place, you know, all these morons that uh, see these people in one place, they lock them there, they make them give money to these morons because they are weak people, they do not want to do anything, they just want to give the donation because they they want to suck dicks during the day, guys, because they, they cannot live free, guys. They have to be uh, a slave of someone, you know, at, at their job, you know. And so what they do, they dream with these morons, telling them, ah, oh, just give me donation, I will give... You know what this guy, he this guy has a, a huge podcast, guys. If you want, you can listen to it. I'm not advertising it, but it's called No Agenda, guys. And look, guys, let me just... Uh, this show you you really have to be good to understand this guy maybe after you've watched this video you understand it's they are all traps guys but they are very good guys he might look like he's on your side they are very good guys that seeming like they want the constitution they are on the, on the on the on the side of the people and everything but it's they are very good you have to catch them i had to go through long videos and interviews and i had to catch this stuff guys because especially in this last interview that i will link i will show you who, what it is at the end if you listen to the whole interview guys you might say there's nothing i can say bad about this guy but at the end i catch the venom guys and i will show you at the end now guys he, he, we're almost there so let's uh they are very good guys so listen to no agenda you can listen to no agenda yeah, i listened to, uh, i started to listen again now for for research because i had to do this but it's good to see even the enemy what they do guys so uh so let's uh, let's listen again and uh podcasting 2.0 and uh bit shoes so he's talking about podcasting 2.0 which is owned by him there is you know a decentralized way to because otherwise you know uh, apple with itunes can block our podcast and so i have i the reptilian will give you a free platform where you can publish your stuff and nobody can touch you i you will be free i the reptilian will give you i have the means no, you cannot have the means you are a poor dumb slave i will give you uh, where we can uh, stream our shows the shows of us reptilians so that you can uh, swallow more more lies because you like them so much and that will be called freedom the the reptilians guys always change but never change they always like a serpent change their skin but they never change guys so he's talking good about bit shoot bit shoot good i mean nobody uh is a guy that i follow uh i cannot but it's not only him the hate uh, in italy i cannot watch his channel i have to use the vpn and with my slow connection guys it's, it's hell i cannot see that i can uh, so i hope uh, brother uh, uh, nobody if you can uh, just try to make another channel or what can i say because bit shoot for me for me is very very convenient because i i am able to download fast the audio version in a m a r otherwise youtube is a bit slower for me 
but uh, but but there's nothing you can do. You cannot play with beat shoot, guys. This piece of shit. And so beat shoot, according to this uh, reptilian here, uh, is uh, is a good alternative. Unbelievable, guys. It's not true. It's not true, guys. You know how many times I uploaded video on beat shoot, and uh, and they just would not upload. They will give you no reason. They will just not upload them. So you, after a while, you, you are pissed off and you just leave, you know. So uh, and he sees all this. Uh, he, he's giving you these alternatives, which in reality are all controlled, guys. And here now he would say to you that you just need a browser. There's nothing we control. We uh, you know internet is, is free. There's alternatives like him, you know. Alternatives like like controlled opposition reptilians. And you know all these different avenues. Mm. The internet. No, if you have a web browser, you're good. Mm. You're a one step away from freedom. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. I run. We run our own servers. Maybe a renaissance in general, which is what happens after a plague. You know, the last big plague. So he's still get a renaissance after the plague, guys. A renaissance for who? For the reptilian guys. Listen, listen, what he's saying. Hey, there was some cool stuff that happened, and even going back to uh, to Rome and and uh, came what kind of art and thinking came out of those dark times. Uh, Are you in New York City? Uh, right outside of New York City. Mm -hmm. Where? Uh, Central Jersey. I, I used to live in Jersey. Oh, okay. Yeah, I used what to live part? in uh, uh, Verona. Verona. Okay. Montclair. Montclair. Yeah, yeah. Montclair, yeah. Verona, right off Route 3. Oh, yeah. That's where the rich folks live. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that's where the rich folks live. So guys, this now is another interview that he did, and this is the interview that I was talking about, guys. This interview was very good, guys. If you want, you can listen to that. But again, never fall, guys, because he might look like he's on your on your side, but he's not, guys. I have to click from time to time, otherwise the screen goes off. So, but anyway, for information, guys, this interview was good. I I also kind of like it, you know. And it was on on uh, a guy, a black guy called uh, Hotep. Hotep, like, let's show the file here. As you will see, the the last one says Z because I wanted it to, to go to the bottom because this is the most beautiful one of all the clips, guys. You will see now. Uh, Hotep Jesus is called. And I have to do research because why he's using this name Jesus, this, this piece of shit that loves money, guys, and invites a controlled opposition in his podcast. So now let's listen to this piece, guys, because it's beautiful. So uh, just right there, he told, uh, he just told him, ah, but... Uh, where you lived, uh, you reptilian, is where rich people live. Yeah, yeah, what's wrong with that? With rich people. <laughs> now, listen uh, to all these guys, because here you will see... Uh, this is the piece that I took out of this whole interview, which is was good, apparently. But at the end, you will hear the Venom guys. And who he will blame for the problems of the sheeple guys. Never the elite guys, but we will hear now, guys. Well, back in those days, I had a Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow 2. These Ooh. were the good days. Yeah, it was a Brewster Green. Mm -hmm. I drove it into Manhattan every single day for like seven years when I was going MTV. Every day. I loved it. Uh, the Reptilian with the Rolls-Royce will help you guys. That car. That was a great car. MTV was treating you good then. Uh, always like hanging out with winners. Winners okay. hang out with winners. And, you know, and we'll always... Winners. 20... 20 and the lockdowns and the reaction to covid and all of that i know rogan said he, he he doesn't believe in the conspiracy thing i thought it was part of trump's plan i seriously thought oh my god he played it so well he he, he got them to honey trap themselves to try and spread this virus because we all know it came from china mm -hmm. yeah it's so you are getting a clue guys he, he who he is blaming for uh for all of our problems, guys. In this case, for the for the virus shit, you know. But listen, listen, guys. It's China, and not not only China and abstract the country, but that if he says even the Chinese, he doesn't like Chinese people, guys. You know, guys. God says to us, and remember what I'm saying now, guys. Because if you listen to this interview, you will understand that these morons talk a lot at the beginning of this interview with this hot up moron guy. Uh, about black versus white guys, and and it's funny guys because they they will never understand it if they do not 
read the Bible and, and just hear what Jesus had to say, which which is he didn't categorize people by skin color, guys, by their culture. You either love God and you will not ever, you know, damage someone, hate someone, or you know, even hate is, is, a, is a sin in Christianity, guys. So what I'm trying to say, guys, is that these morals were fighting fighting like going strong with each other ah but you don't know what we black people have gone through ah but uh, i mean i i as a white guy what have i done to you you moron i mean it it only comes down to this this same simple thing guys there's two kind of people in this earth guys you either are are of cain in that way you in your heart you you would uh, be very easily programmed to kill the other people and you will do it without any remorse or you are able guys of the other seed of the seed of god guys and at that point you have some remorse to do that or even better you know you would not even hate if you are you know like me guys i would not even hate people well it not doesn't always work guys but most of the time i'm able to not even hate people and let alone i mean i said you guys a video where i just let my my father you know which is a moron a very uh, evil guy just hit me I mean, after he will hit me, what would happen? I told him, if I wanted, I would just, you know, kill you right now, but I won't do it. Never do it. Come on, hit me, I told him. Nothing, guys. This flash will go away, guys. Life is very fast, guys. This is just a quick test, guys. Never fall, guys. With violence. Uh, so, what I was saying. And so... In this interview, they was talking about black versus white. Ah, oh, reparation. Ah, oh, we did. Ah, oh, there's systemic uh, racism. Ah, oh, what the fuck do you want from me? I'm a. Uh, what have I done to you, moron? But this is the demon inside them that makes them want to 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 hate and to kill someone for no reason, guys. Let me every time I have to. So I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say, guys. Uh, they could have very well, you know, solved the issue by saying, dude, you have to believe in God. God doesn't see races, doesn't see skin color and everything. And the, and the problem is solved, guys. That's all. But no, they will go through bullshit over bullshit. So let's hear now, guys, how he hates Chinese people, guys. Again, God says to us we should not hate based, you know, on skin color. Guys, even the most ugly and and, and and whatever materially we are made of you know could be the most the most great human being and the most beautiful like an angel face could be the most evil there's nothing with, with the with the races and, and stuff guys people that tell you this want to divide us guys and to kill each other so here's a reptilian guys you know that want us to hate chinese guys like the media wants i'm a bad no we all it's uh, come on Smoke, fire, we know that it came from the lab, intentional or not, it's, you know, something happened. And, you know, I thought he had set that up to, to screw him and to no. take back all of, the, all of the manufacturing. Who owns the media today? Who owns Hollywood? China. They own the big studios, they own of the course. big theaters, big investment in the big media companies, own tons of money, and the content providers, Disney, and lo and behold, my friend, they're in sports. And the apparel is, and they make the shit there. Yeah. We're just a bunch of pass throughs. And King James, sorry, man, card played. He's China's bitch. <laughs> China's bitch. He will do, directly or indirectly, he will do whatever they say. And I'm not racist against anybody, but the Chinese have a culture which is not compatible completely. He's not racist against anybody, he's racist against humans. He's a reptilian. With ours, Absolutely. whenever I, whenever I encounter Chinese people, they don't under, They have their own version of space, and they believe everyone's space is their space. Well, I would say the same to you, you reptilian. You want all the space, and everything for yourself. You, you feel the reptilians. But what the reptilian does? He blames the sheep, guys. So easy. Make the sheep fight with each other, and never see the filthy reptilians that own everything, guys. They can like just be in your space all the time. Mm -hmm. It's just a culture. I got nothing against them in general. But like, back off. And, and I'm generalizing. Uh, so back off. 
Did you hear that, guys? He said like, oh, Chinese, oh, back off. What a piece of shit, guys. Reptilian. Call me whatever. But there's no doubt that they are a type of Cold War enemy at this point. So we need to push back and keep them at bay. And for that reason alone, Trump should be considered by every American. So Let's just take away the apparel itself from china take away that manufacturing bring it back to us yeah that's yeah. jobs that's re that's real you know yes let's bring jobs you know the slaves guy because he will not work guys he will not work guys or up to the 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 poor slaves we will work here guys so bring back the jobs for the slaves here what, either we're going to be a bunch of npcs and bots hanging around on the internet working on a universal basic income and just be the pass-through consumers but goes in here goes in here and it comes out there uh, or we're going to be we're going to continue to be some innovative powerhouse that creates cool shit everybody wants and we sell it to them we'll be uh, uh we create bullshit that everybody wants that's guys. <laughs> just making fun of the shivel guys so guys uh that was the presentation guys uh, but now I will close with uh, with the beauty, guys. If I will be able to do this, uh, because yes, here it is, guys. Because for an update on the Olympics, guys. I know everybody's waiting. Was waiting. Marcel, update us on the on the Olympics. What went there? Please, uh, we need an update. We cannot sleep without go without having an update on the Olympics. And. Um, and, and and this is an update guys this is uh, the sex is unknown here guys but I see a huge hand and um, really huge I yeah yeah I have to just lower this shit here huge hands guys not very feminine and the name guys look at the name guys I thought this was a joke guys I thought the name there was like uh, I saw this on Facebook. Oh come on, someone someone is is fooling. She, she, she could not be called old man. But that was true, guys. That was true, and here's all old dude. Look at the eye ridge here, guys. That of a dude. Can you see, guys? I'm a dude. I have that. Did you see this more pronounced here? Look at her. Ah, but, but do you know that uh, what was that guy? Uh, the more on warm uh, warm hat. I, I am an invert. I, I am not male. He said something like that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, fucking moron. So uh, you know, look, I'm a man, dude. I have huge hairs, testosterone like crazy. That with which they have uh, uh, got rid of from the male today with the hormones in the food that they eat, in the air, in the water, whatever. That's why they're turned all into pussies, guys. So that's all, guys. Uh, me and all uh, all dude here salute you guys. No agenda. Uh, 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 this should be called like no agenda. Really, they have no agenda with the uh, question mark, you know. Hi, guys. See you all on the next one. Ciao.